Bank's Alice Wang joins us, Portfolio Manager at Cuero Capital. Alice, good morning to you and thanks for being with us. Um, so we had a, a decent performance over the last month, but the year-to-date and the one-year story still show that we're a little down on the Shanghai Composite. What do you think happens from here, given that we seem to have a better glide path on services PMI data and on the trajectory of the lockdowns? Well, I'm relatively positive on China this year and from here because China seems relatively um, immune or less exposed to some of the factors that are affecting the rest of the world, namely central bank tightening, namely um, you know, decelerating growth, um, inflation, and even uh, food shortages, right? Because China actually preemptively bought up 50% of the world's uh, wheat uh, back in March. So uh, they have stockpiled 150% of the food that the nation needs. So if you look at the whole host of factors that are worrying the rest of the world, actually China seems relatively a safe haven from these issues. And yet, um, one of the problems you've got is continual policy uncertainty uh, around both COVID and what the government intends to do with technology companies. And that's thrown an element of uncertainty, I think, into the, the broader China story. How do you hedge against what effectively is almost unknowable? Well, uh, certainly, but I think you have to look at the policy direction, right? And it was very clear that, you know, maybe two years ago at the end of 2020, that China was starting to take a very anti-economy stance um, in terms of high regulation of all of these industries. And now, you know, April figures were very, very bad, right? We showed um, unemployment figures of uh, young people of almost 20%, and the real figure is probably higher, right? Um, you know, only 47%, um, it's estimated, of graduates this year got job offers. And that's a real problem for the government, right? And that's no a no-brainer if you've regulated basically all of the industries that they're going into. And so, uh, for example, education, internet, um, you know, the, the, the sectors that they would want to be in. Um, and so, you know, the, the government now has a real kind of incentive to change the policy direction because of the big problems that the economy is facing. And so where you had an anti kind of economy stance, you actually may be having the start of a pro economy stance and the positioning this directional change. This is very significant because, you know, whereas in the US, you actually may be having a Fed or central government policies that are more uh, taxing on the economy, the Chinese direction is changing. And that's very significant. And that's probably why we saw the um, market bottom in April. Now, there will be noises along the way, uh, but the direction has changed. 